So every once in a while, maybe a year, maybe if I could squeeze a year and a half, if you have a cesspool or a septic tank in Long Island, you need to do this every year or two years if you're really lucky. I wasn't that lucky. Year and a half was the last I uh, had it pumped. So I understand I have a 3,000 gallon tank. I'm not really 100% sure, but that's usually how much they pump out. So the hole is over here. Um, you always have to remember where the hole is. And I never really remember. So I always remember it's like that hole is right around the middle of that down fence. And then it's exactly 90 degrees from the edge of the house. So now I'll remember where the hole is. So he connects these hoses all the way to the truck. And uh, there's a generator on there, I assume? On the truck? Generator? Uh, so now he's got it hooked up to the truck. And it's gonna be pumping. So now he's pumping. So now after all the crap has been sucked out, the man now is now attaching a water hose to a long PVC pipe and he sticks it down there and he shoots water in there called hydrogen. And hydrogen basically does what, sir? Breaks up all the crust on the bottom of the pool, brings up the clean sand, allows the water to drain out. And these two jugs over here are is a uh, sulfuric acid, and that breaks down the waste. Yeah. Got it. Now uh, I've heard from a lot of people that you could use live bacteria that works better than the sulfuric acid. Any you know anything about that, and how true is that? Not true. 